Welcome back viewers in the course I have found my niche and I hope you have found yours I will share my niche and website with you which I have selected but for now our next step is domain name selection so in this video I am going to give you some tips about domain name selection as far as SEO is concerned so there are three type of domain names the first one is branded domain name second one is partial domain name and the third one is exact image domain which is also called EMD so let me show you some examples like google.com yahoo.com these are branded domain names any company name or any name you select for your business is basically a, a branded name sometimes people use partial match domains what is partial match partial match means that you are using a keyword inside your domain like one keyword not all the keyword but some part of your keyword like in this case the green kitchen.com is about kitchen stuff right so kitchen is used with the domain name green is a random word and kitchen is a part of the keyword so this is partial match domain which is very very safe in SEO and normally people use this one I also use this type of domain name because that is uh, very safe from Google penalty but many people also use exact match domain like in this case YouTube to mp3 converter.com this is the exact keyword for which the person wants to rank their website and they have used the exact keyword in the domain name so this is also okay but sometimes Google penalize your site for using so many keywords like that is called keyword stuffing in SEO so we normally use the the partial match that is on the safe side now I will give you a few tips for selecting a good domain name which is also SEO friendly so first of all try to make it short and easy to remember like when people remember your site name that is very good when they return it will ultimately help your site grow more second try to avoid hyphens and numbers you should try to really avoid hyphens and numbers uh, if that is not necessary right try to get .com for international website other domains names are also okay but .com is a very famous and very popular extension for domains so you should always first try to get .com for international website like any website you are creating for the entire world try to use localized domain for local business such as .uk, .pk, .in like if you are having a company website or a local business website then try to create try to get the local domain extension like if you are doing business in the UK get the UK domain in India get the IN that will help you more in local searches and also in the local SEO for that I have a separate section in this course later on but let's now go and I will show you this is this is basically the niche list ideas and I have created I have selected this uh, website this niche about cameras you can see there are four different uh, keywords I got from the list these are basically micro niches camera reviews budget cameras logging cameras action cameras but what I can do I can simply combinely make them a single niche which will be about cameras and that is basically a broad niche actually right so I'm going to create a website about cameras now this is the website you can see the URL name mesh.com here you can find domain name suggestions right so simply you have to add your keyword like in my case I will add camera reviews and I will search for it right so when I search for it it will give me like hundreds and hundreds of suggestions if that name is not available it will recommend you similar names or good names so one thing I want to mention here again that you should go for two words domain name not more than two words if you add more than two words then it will not be easy to remember right now here you can see in the SEO section it has given me so many domain names I can go and go and find a very good nice SEO friendly name which is easy to remember which is short and which is still 
uh, related to my topic, right? And I'm using my keyword as well inside the domain name. So this is a partial domain name basically. There is other tool, this one, where you just need to write your keyword and you will see instant uh, suggestions, right? So I just added camera and it has given me so many, so many um, suggestions right there. You change the keyword and you will see more and more uh, you know suggestions so after you selected the name here if you found the name then go to uh, namecheap.com I have added the link of this website so you can straight go and add your name there I have selected this name actually camera list.com and I have registered it but let's see you just add the exact name with the .com or whatever domain extension you have selected and then search for that right it will say it is not available right now because I have already bought this but it will show you other related domains right here you can see but this one I have already registered already so that's the, that's it now I have another sheet where I can show you in this file actually there are three sheets the first one is uh, about competitors now we have to find some competitors and we will add the competitor URL here then the domain rating monthly traffic and whether that website is small or big we'll add that data here at least you should add 10 uh, websites from your competitor list and then I have another sheet about brand plan my website is um, this one actually uh, I already have bought the domain name which is cameralist.com using the same process I went to uh, this website and this website I searched there and found this domain name and then I bought it through Namecheap now I have the domain name already and I have selected categories for this domain like you should add some 10 at least 10 categories how you can find these categories just go to Google add your site uh, like whatever niche you have selected simply add the main keyword okay here like in my case I simply added uh, uh, budget cameras okay and then I change the topic again and again like uh, budget cameras action cameras and uh, different keywords I used and you go to the websites whatever websites you find just go to these websites and check their menus and you will easily find categories for your niche or your domain like see here travel test photography and if you go to other website you will see the different you know different categories here as well the third one reviews phones laptops cameras if you go to cameras you will see all the categories right so at least 10 categories you can add to your brand plan and this is about your website and then the estimated number of posts you can Add to that category it is just a rough idea not exact okay so I have added something like 200 post and then I have written here 200 post in one year time so this is my goal for this website which I will be doing practically in front of you and I hope we will be receiving traffic of uh, to this website we will be driving traffic from Google and I will be showing showing you that practically and I want you to create and follow the process along with me so you can also get success and do something practically during this course right so this is for the categories I have added you should add two now the third sheet here is very important and that is about keywords so in this sheet we have like the main keyword related keywords competition keyword difficulty content length like what type of content we have to post what length of content actually in the published date then top competitors for this keyword we have on Google already and then the current position so basically the current position in Google will be actually updating this here so this is all the data and uh, in the next video I am coming back and we will be starting uh, keyword research practically but right now as I can show you uh, we have selected uh, okay uh, competitors how you can find the competitors for your niche right this is very easy this is not difficult 
uh, simply we have to go to these uh, different categories because these are the main categories which which we will be adding to the menu of, of our website and then we will be writing uh, you know content using different keywords that we will find later on uh, in the upcoming lectures so simply we can find the competitor by copying this keyword let's say this one and go to google like we already have that camera there okay and add all of these websites you know go to these websites and check out them whether they are related to our website or not if they are not relevant uh, then we, we will ignore them right like we cannot add every website but we can add some websites okay like up to 10 or 20 websites so we can learn from them we can find what they are doing what is their strategy for backlinking and for keywords and different stuff right so you just uh, what you need to do you go to check add one by one the keywords to google and open some 20 to 30 websites so like this website is a big website and this is all about cameras right so they have other things but this is also about camera so i will go and add this website to the list right and the domain rating the monthly traffic big or small this is big website because this is very famous so i have written big now for domain rating and monthly traffic uh, traffic we can use a tool uh, which is called ahrab so i'm just going to open that tool right now okay guys i have opened the site now here i will paste the url of that website uh, this is called hrefs this tool i will explain this in upcoming videos and you will then learn about it okay there is no worry about that but for now we are just checking this website this domain name using this tool hrefs to find out the domain rating or you can say domain authority and also the traffic it receives per month from Google so the domain uh, authority is very huge it is 90 so that is I will I will write here 90 monthly traffic I have to see how much traffic it is receiving I think it is a very big site actually you can see the number of backlinks number of referring domains so the traffic is almost 25 million okay so 25 million per month okay this is huge man so this is big website now you will find small websites as well like you make a list of 20 websites uh, go and check every one of that website but make sure that website is relevant to ours like sometimes people write articles about different topics so a multiple topic website will not add here as a competitor we will add only websites which are exactly our competitors okay so one by one we will check using this tool hrefs and we will make the list up to 20 competitors now in the next lecture we'll start a, uh, about keyword research and the tools we use for keyword research